So this was before I went down to Sydney to work with Sydney Symphony Orchestra. Made this video. And back then, this was about three years ago? I think two years ago, three years ago. Anyway, we, we weren't getting any views on this online video. It's maybe 1,000, 2,000. And I thought, man, we're so good we hit 5,000. And I hop on the plane from Brisbane to Sydney, which takes about an hour. And when I got off, it was on 10,000 views. And I thought this was out of the world. I was like, oh my god, the whole world has seen me. This is ridiculous. Um, and I don't know, for some reason, it just kept going and going and going, and I'll shut up. Here you go. And the part of this here is Lindsay Sterling. So, do you guys know her? Can we have raise our hands? Oh. She's very good at what she does. I was actually trying to do what she was doing, and what she does is really, really difficult. I still can't. Yeah. Anyway, we'll go on to the next one. Good for these. Okay, this one was with, you guys know the pianist Lang Lang? You want to raise your hands? I don't know if I want to do that. Yeah. So, how this happened was, um, again, I was in the orchestra, and they always wanted to, they wanted to make a video, and when Lang Lang was looking, Play the Greek piano concerto, and so obviously they asked me, "Do you want to make a video with Lang Lang?" I'm like, I mean, Yang Yang, or are you serious? And then they're like, "Yeah, we want to make a video with Lang Lang and the orchestra." So this is one of, I guess, one of the videos that took the most time planning. Um, but here we go. It's about running late to rehearsal. Okay, 
so I can't see myself doing that. Um, yeah, so, well, <laughs> because we, don't have, we only have like 30 minutes or so, 40 minutes or so, so we want to, we just, we're thinking of what we should tell you guys or, you know, what we could share. And since we are, I guess we're quite similar to your age, how old are you guys, like 16, 17? Yeah? So I'm 25, now he's 24. We're not 70 year olds, kind of done everything, and it's going to drop some knowledge on you guys. But we just want to share our experiences, which we might, which might relate really well to you guys when you guys finish high school here, um, and hopefully inspire you guys to try things, you know, um, try different things like how we started from covers, funny videos, and now to our world tour. Yeah. You wanna... yeah so I mean, I guess the easiest way to say is I never thought I'd be a comedian. Um, like I grew up, actually it's funny because um, I didn't even know I was going to be a botanist until the year I graduated high school. So I mean I know some of you guys are like, I know what I want to do, I know my passion, but I think for many of us we have, like, we have no idea what we're doing. Just like, I don't know, like uni, I'll just pick that. And so like for the longest time, I was kind of like, my mother wanted me to be a doctor. No surprise there. And, uh, and uh, the funny thing too is I actually had the grades to get into medical school. And, but then when I was 17, I told my mom, uh, I think I want to do music. And my mom was just like, you're just, not, you're just not studying hard enough to be a doctor, so you need to study harder. I'm like, no mom, I will actually want to do music. She's like, no, you're being lazy, you should go study. And then so I had to like prove to her that I actually could get into medical school before she let me be a musician. So I actually got into medical school and then told her mom, sorry, I'm not doing it. And she, <laughs> it was pretty crazy. Um, and his mom was really strong. So, like, and, 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 and it's like, the funniest thing too actually is the way it works in Australia is it's ranking. So by me doing that, uh, I probably pushed someone just out of the medical school entry barrier. Some of that actually wanted to be a doctor, so I'm like, oh no. But, um, <laughs> yeah, so then I did music, but then, even then we wanted to be, at the time we were just practicing four or five hours every day, kind of like skills, really serious technical things. I don't think we expected to be making jokes, like touring the world, yeah. being basically clowns and idiots on stage. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we used to joke around with each other a lot. And um, most of you here, I guess, you learn classical music, right? Some sort of classical music. And the industry is quite serious. Um, I remember the first time I joined an orchestra, and there was all these rules or traditions that we were never taught. It just kind of happened. I started wondering, why did I walk back and forth on stage like five times? And the concert finishes. Do you guys know that? Have you guys been, raise your hands if you've been to a classical concert? Yeah, so you know when they finish, they run claps, they walk off, and they clap again, and they walk off, and they clap again, and it's kind of painful in the audience. I don't know about you, you guys just keep going. Okay. We should, we should make them do that. You'll make them do that. Just keep clapping. Um, and so things like that just we start making fun of it. Um, we always had this thing going on with the shaky bow when you get really nervous, the bow starts bouncing like recklessly because you're nervous. And so this became an inside joke. But we never thought everyone was thinking the same thing. And no one was talking about it because it was so serious. You can never tell a teacher that you get shaky bow because the teacher will get you saying, what are you doing here? <laughs> Go learn your concerto. And so after all these series of events, um, we made funny videos and now that it works online, we always just kind of have a pause to go for it. And it led to the whole crowdfunding campaign which led to this tour. Yeah. Um, the crowdfunding campaign, for those of you who don't know, is we pledged to all our fans and everyone watching on live video that we're going to perform as street musicians non-stop and also sleep outside, um, basically almost homeless, until we hit our funding goal of 50,000 Australians. 
to fund the tour. And this was our goal to show that classical music can be crowdfunded and it's not always reliant on you know government funding, individual sponsorships, and ticket sales, which doesn't cover that much in the industry. Yeah. So do you want to tell them about that? Sleeping outside. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. I don't, I don't just like, I get stressed out thinking about it. Um, basically, yeah, we slept outside for five days. Because, okay, just to like set, paint the picture, I, I, I don't think we realized at the time just how much money goes into organizing a music tour internationally. And when we started asking people, everyone was like, you are out of your mind. You're crazy. You guys are going to die and start on the streets in some foreign country and just like freeze to death. And we're like, oh my god. And then we, we started inquiring about like a lot of classical kind of just the models of concerts, like orchestras. We found out tickets cover for about 20% in Australia. In Australia. So a lot of it comes from government funding. A lot of it. But who's going to fund us? But that, that's like, the scariest part. Like, yeah, like, yeah, because everyone is, I mean, the sponsors are usually older, so in you know, 30 years' time, they might not be there. Yeah. And so we, our generation, might suffer because everyone else is listening to different types of music. They're listening to Taylor Swift, blah, 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 blah. Like, Taylor Swift might be classical music in the next 100 years, who knows? Um, <laughs> exactly. Right. They're studying music, class history. Um, okay. So, but the whole thing we want to say today is when people tell you what works and what doesn't work, we want you guys, because you guys are only 15 to try it. Yeah. We're in a time where we have the phone, right? We all have a mobile phone, right? We can go on Facebook, you can go to line. Um, social media, the internet is so, so powerful. And everyone here, right? Everyone, everyone here was born with the internet. You guys were born with the internet, right? No, in the internet. You guys are you guys all memes. Yeah, you guys are all memes. Um, <laughs> feels like memes. But what I was saying is that we have this great opportunity. I want all of you guys here to take advantage of it, right? And realize that we have friends that went to Africa, we have friends to third world countries that even if they tried, they probably have no chance, right? So, like, actually, if you think about it, even like 30 years ago, if you wanted to know something, you had to like hike three kilometers to the library to like find the answer. Today it's just like, oh, Google, oh, what's banana made of? I don't know. Yeah. It's, it's, lit it's literally at your fingertips. Yeah. And we always ask ourselves, what's the worst that can happen, right? We were told with our tour, it can't work. The funding is ridiculous. It's too much logistical problems. I was even told on a phone call at a venue that our dreams were too big. Someone at the venue told me that my dreams were too big. I'm like, okay, I just want to book the venue. Yeah. I don't know what's going on. Uh, uh, imagine, actually, you guys call someone up. He's still laughing so hard. So me. There's just something on my face. Uh. Yeah, so <laughs> <laughs> you're basically calling them, saying, hey, we've got the money. We know we said the venue, you said the venue is yeah. available. Can we do a concert here? The response I basically got was, in these words, it's not possible, your dreams are too big, it's too ambitious. Yeah. I didn't know what to say to them because I've never had someone said it that directly to me. Right? We've had friends say messages and one else say it's not possible. So it made, it made me think. Like, so I can add one yeah. thing to that too. My teacher, who is an amazing teacher, she's like really, really kind to really, um, she kind of really looks after all the students. And so she had my breakfast in plan after I graduated. To go study. It's working. Yeah. Study overseas. And basically, I was like, no, I wanted to do this YouTube thing. And then, I don't know, because I want to be a solo so I don't know how that's going to pan out. And she kind of just looked at me and said, You're not going to be a solo. So you're not going to talk. It's not going to happen. And she didn't say that to be mean, but a lot of times it's like, I think people that care about you don't want you to fall and make mistakes. I know a lot of, especially like Asian parents, the stereotype, but we, we 
we really want to like look after our kids, right? We don't want to make them make mistakes and do anything stupid. But we went homeless for five days and now we're touring. <laughs> yeah. The whole point is just whatever people say, take it for granted. Listen to the advice, but also ask yourself, right? Don't rely so much on external factors. We always ask ourselves, what do we want to do? Can we achieve this by ourselves? Rather than people telling us what we have to do, right? You know, this is Eddie's mom saying, you have to be a doctor, you have to, or you can't make a living, right? And, and Eddie was like, I mean, Eddie, was like, oh yeah, let me show you, you did this exam. But the point is, always keep the youthful energy in yourself. Yeah. The, we're finding already, we're only 25, so we're about 7 years older than you guys. At 25, maybe the, I mean, the teachers they can also relate. The older you get, there's more responsibility. We know more about the world. So therefore, we start, we'll, we'll also get more tired. Okay? So when I was 18, I, I could party all week. Now if I go out one night, I'm screwed the whole month, and I get sick or whatever. And so, the older we get, we know more, um, which is really good, but it's a double-edged sword. It means that we also play things safer, we also kind of know how the system works, but we're too, there's too much to risk, right? There's too much load to let go and jump, I don't know, jump ship and try something else. We are still very young, and I encourage you guys to keep trying new things, regardless of whatever your parents, teachers, sorry, um, Peers tell you to do. So ask yourself, what do you really, really want to do? Now, I know it sounds so cliche, but for us, is the more we got into the industry, the classical music, we started becoming more and more serious. Except we always kept our youthful energy. Now, you know, no 25 year old who has a home, who has a full time job, would go homeless. Like, that's insane. Imagine, I told you guys, like, this is going homeless this week. Is for lols. Why not? I mean, it sounds crazy. And so, with a tour, everyone's telling us, you need to find sponsors, you need to find this one. Look, why don't we try to go the other way? And we really want to encourage you guys to just, you know, I keep repeating myself. But basically, try things and don't be afraid. And just remember, you're going to fall. It's, it's, you're going to fail at some stage. But the losers will stay down and the winners will always get back up. Um, that's the best way to look because we've fallen so many times. Yeah. I think I think we should demonstrate this concept. Oh okay. uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Um, so who, who's the oldest in the audience here? Do we have someone? Anyone? Teachers. Teachers? <laughs> we need we need a volunteer. So ideally a volunteer teacher a volunteer with teacher. a youthful spirit. <laughs> Reckless. Anyone? I can take a risk. Green <laughs> shirt at the back. It's you. <laughs>
and you know, we put this the first finger, put it on this last ring here. Yes? And then you lift it off again, and back on. And back off. And remember, now we're going to try something. In the music, we call it um, rhythm. We're going to count to four. Okay, so we go, have on, so ready? This is one, two, three, four. 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 Not bad, right? Not bad. Not bad. Not bad.
Awesome. All right.
Enough? Not enough? Do you know what do you need to say when you need 